iPhone 8 v iPhone 7, which Apple iPhone is best and which should you really buy? Apple released its new iPhone 8 late last year with a new look and bonus features but is it really worth the upgrade and should you buy the cheaper iPhone 7? Here's Express Co UK's guide to which iPhone is best. If you are thinking of buying a new iPhone there's certainly plenty of choice. Apple currently has a huge range of smartphones aimed at all tastes and budgets, starting with the £349 iPhone SE and rising to its stunning £1000 iPhone X flagship. Sitting alongside these budget and top-end devices are two of Apple's most popular smartphones, the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8. With decent specs and reasonable price, it's not hard to see why so many Apple fans make these call makers their top choice. But which really is best for you? Here's Express Co UK's guide to these smartphones and the biggest differences between the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8. Design When you first set eyes on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8 there's very little to separate them. Both feature Apple's iconic design which includes the Touch ID fingerprint scanner at the bottom of the screen and a single camera on the rear. With an IP67 rating, if you drop either of these phones in water they should survive and you won't find a headphone port on iPhone 7 or 8. However, although they may look almost identical there is one huge difference between them. Whilst the iPhone 7 has an aluminium case the iPhone 8 is covered from top to toe in glass. This finish on the iPhone 8 allows the phone to be charged wirelessly, something you can't do on the iPhone 7. Charging without the need for a cable is hugely convenient although having a device covered in glass may not be best for those who are prone to dropping their phones. It's also worth noting that the iPhone 8 is slightly heavier than the 7 but it is now the only smartphone from Apple to feature the stunning product red color scheme. iPhone 7 is available in Rose Gold, Gold, Silver, Black, Jet Black. iPhone 8 is available in Gold, Silver, Space Gray, and Product Red. Performance One area where you will notice a difference between these phones is speed. Apple included the new A11 Bionic processor in its iPhone 8 which brings plenty of extra grunt to this latest device. Apple says the A11 Bionic is actually around 25% or faster than the A10 brains you'll find in the iPhone 7. If you want the ultimate performance the iPhone 8 is a must-buy, but the iPhone 7 is certainly no slouch and should be perfectly adequate for the average user. Camera There's pretty much the same camera on the rear of both devices but there is one advantage if you buy the iPhone 8. Apple has vastly improved the low-light capabilities of its new phone which means it's much better at taking snaps when the lights get low. Other features you get on both the iPhone 7 and 8 include optical image stabilization, quad-led true tone flash, auto HDR for photos and slow MO video recording. Battery There's very little between the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8 when it comes to battery performance. Apple confirms that they both last for around the same amount of time with users likely to get all day life on a single charge. There is, however, one benefit of owning the iPhone 8 with this latest device able to fast charge to 50% in 30 minutes. It is worth noting that the charger in the box doesn't perform this quick refill so you will need to buy a quick charger from Apple. Price It may be slower have no wireless charging and not have the same camera credentials but the iPhone 7 is a lot cheaper than its newer sibling. Buying the iPhone 7 directly from Apple costs £549 for the 32GB model or £649 for the 128GB versions. The iPhone 8 does come with more memory but it also more expensive with the 64GB model setting you back £699 and the 256GB version costing a hefty £849. Contract prices also reflect the difference with deals on the iPhone 7 starting from around £23 per month, expect to pay over £32 per month for the iPhone 8. Verdict if you want the ultimate Apple smartphone, 
and can't stretch to the 1000 pounds iPhone X, then the iPhone 8 should be top of your list. This phone includes an excellent camera, wireless charging and stunning glass design, plus there's that blistering A11 processor tucked inside. However, if value for money is top of your agenda then there's really nothing wrong with the iPhone 7. It might be almost two years old but this is a solid device that offers plenty of power and very good camera at a much cheaper price than its newer sibling.